Imagine waking up to the serene beauty of Munnar, the most popular hill station in Kerala. Emerald tea gardens, misty mornings, and breathtaking views of the Western Ghats mountain ranges await you, along with the delightful chirping of birds and glimpses of wildlife. This is Pali Planet. You are watching Destination Review. The best port of arrival for this tour is Kochi, the renowned port city in central Kerala. The city is well connected by air, road, rail, and sea. It's a scenic three-hour road journey to Munar, nestled about 5,000 feet above sea level. The drive from Koshin to Munar is fascinating. You can stop at Thattakad, if you're into bird watching or wildlife photography. But if you are pro level, consider spending a day or two here. You can find more details of Thattakad in the description. Your Munar adventure begins shortly after passing Thattakad. As you journey through the region, you'll be surrounded by lush forests, spice plantations, and captivating valleys, with waterfalls and streams to delight your senses. While it's an exciting journey, the chances of encountering wild animals are low. Moonar Town, although charming, can get a bit crowded and noisy. We recommend staying outside the town, as most attractions you'll want to explore are in the serene outskirts. The region caters to many types of visitors, including families, wildlife enthusiasts, trekkers, and cycling aficionados. The best time to visit is from November to March. Of course, unless you are here for herping. Wildlife photographers come up here during the rainy days, searching for colorful frogs and snakes. Look at this guy. The galaxy frog. You can see a galaxy on his body, can't you? It is estimated that there are 157 amphibians endemic to the Western Ghats. This green snake is a large-scaled pit viper, another star attraction here. I also wonder why these creatures have green colors. Perhaps it's for camouflage with the surrounding green. Try to avoid traveling to Munnar on weekends and holidays, as popular spots can get overwhelmingly crowded during these times. Now, let's talk about some must-visit places in Munnar. You can head to the Matupeti Dam for a tranquil boat ride and a delightful time. For breathtaking natural beauty, visit Top Station. If you're interested in sandalwood forests, tribal culture, and wildlife, Mariur and Chinar are your go-to destinations. At the Chinar Wildlife Sanctuary, the prized attraction is this beautiful Indian star tortoise. This poor creature is one of the heavily trafficked animals, and mind you, Forget about collecting. Even holding this little fellow is a punishable offense by law. One of Munar's top attractions is the Nilgiri Ibex, an endangered wild goat that can be spotted at Eravikalam National Park. If you are a wildlife photographer, we have a challenge for you. Try to photograph this elusive and rare animal, the Nilgiri Martin, during your days here. Also, comment if you have seen one already. Munar has become a premier destination for birders in recent years. For bird enthusiasts, we have a separate video that explains where to go and what to look for. Bodimet, Chinar and Gap Road are popular among birders and wildlife photographers. Eravikulam National Park is a good location for Nilgiri pipits, board-tailed grass birds, painted bush quails, etc. The other three highly prized catches in Munar for birders are the white-bellied blue robin and Pali laughing thrush and black and orange flycatcher. Another wonder you might visit in Munar is the blossom of Nila Kurinji, a rare flowering plant that paints the hills in a breathtaking purple-blue hue. The blossom happens generally once every 12 years, 
but it is not a strict rule. Its ethereal beauty attracts tourists, offering a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle in this charming hill station. Now how about trying some trout fishing in Munar? British planters introduced rainbow trout in Munar in the early 1900s for recreational purposes. Over time, these fish adapted well to the mountain streams and dams in the area. If you're an experienced angler, Munner is an ideal place to put your skills to the test. Most of the trout fishing areas are located within the Tata tea plantations. To obtain permission, you either need to stay in their bungalow accommodations or contact the Tata Tea Cooperative Society office in Munner. Sitha Devi Lake is another spot where you can try your luck at trout fishing. For additional details on angling in Kerala, please refer to the description. Munnar boasts a remarkable butterfly population, estimated to host nearly 250 species, including several western ghats endemics, such as the yellow jack sailor, nilgiri four rings, broad tail royal, palani bush brown, and the tiny grass jewel. If you wish to see these little angels, visit the Shola forests. Unique small patches of forests nestled in the middle of tea gardens, which is a unique forest type of the Western Ghats. We recommend hiring experienced local guides for your wildlife adventures here. There are many scenic trekking trails in Munar. Here's a list for you. Misapulimala is probably the most challenging but also the most rewarding among them. Visit the description for more information on trekking routes here. If you are going for a hike, try to reach the top before sunrise. The sunrise over the blue Western Ghats Mountains is a memorable sight. Take the opportunity to explore the stunning tea plantations on long walks or cycling along estate roads. Additionally, visiting the tea museum and spice gardens are popular here. Drop by the Tata Tea Outlet if you want to purchase some genuine tea or spices. For more information on adventure destinations and eco-friendly accommodations, please subscribe to our channel. The channel provides valuable insights to help you plan your adventure better. Muna offers hotels catering to all budgets and purposes. It's also a popular honeymoon destination, with many hotels offering special packages for such travelers. Given that hotel ratings are dynamic and new accommodations are continually being added, we have created another video section in our channel dedicated to the best accommodations for adventure travelers. You can access it from the link above or the description. If you haven't been to Munner to explore its natural wonders yet, it is time to plan a trip. Your moment is waiting.